Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto. I am your host, BitBoy. Today we're going to be looking at the Blockfolio app, the new version 2.0. You guys cannot actually get this yet. It is not out. This is only the beta version, but I was selected to do a test of it and I'm really excited about that to share it with you guys. If you're not a member of our community, we call it the Bit Squad. Make sure that you are. Make sure that you click the subscribe button, the bell. Don't forget to like the video. And if you like the video and comment on it and you're a subscriber, you get a chance to win $150 in Bitcoin this month along with two shirts from our merch store. So let's go ahead and check the app out. Um, as you guys can see, the logo is pretty much the same, just the B for Blockfolio. Um, click on it. Now, this is the home page. This is not actually my portfolio. I kind of set up. Um, it's similar to my holdings, but um, the amounts are not the same. Uh, I want to show you guys, um, you know, this layout here and what it kind of looks like to have different coins in your wallet here or not in your wallet, in your portfolio. You can change them. All you got to do is hold, hold down on one and you will be able to move it up or down. Like if I want to move Litecoin to the top, it's just that easy. Very similar to the way that it currently works. Um, you can also do new portfolios. All you have to do is slide right um, or swipe right or whatever. I'm not on Tinder, so I don't know which way you're supposed to swipe. But um, that is how you start a new one. If you want to add a coin, all you do is hit the plus button down at the bottom and then just search for your coin. It doesn't have to be on coinmarketcap.com right now for it to be able to be on here. Um, my Satoshi droppers is not on here at this point. Um, but let's see, let's do Pied Piper coin. That's one that's not on coin market cap, but boom, look, there it is, PPI. You can add a transaction, um, and then all you gotta do to add the transaction is just go here to quantity. It's, it's very similar to the way it's always worked in the past. So I put 2000 right there. And of course, it's not gonna assign a value because coin market cap doesn't have a value for Pied Piper coin right now. It's not on coinmarketcap.com. Um, I just picked that one because it's obscure. I knew that it wouldn't have a value on it to show you kind of so that the Blockfolio app obviously has more coins and projects uh, on it than you can actually add, um, uh, than have value, I guess the best way to say that. So we have the signal. So here are signals. These will kind of give you some, um, some news stories about different projects you own, as you guys can see. Um, out of all the ones that I have, the only ones that are working with the signals right now are Ontology and PPI, which is a little bit surprising. You can go to the Explore. This is going to have news. This has the news about the ETF that we've already talked about on a video at the very top. So there is a news portion here um, for Blockfolio. Uh, you can search the, let's see if you search here, let's search Bitcoin. Um, you can look at the chart from here. So from Explore, you can pick any coin that you want. And you can go to kind of like almost their like CMC page where it shows you a little bit about the project. Um, it shows you a, a, a candlestick chart here, as you guys can see with Ripple, it's up pretty big today. It'll show you your holdings in that project. Um, that actually is correct. I do have $11 worth of Ripple. Um, it was worth less than that, so good news. Uh, you can have alerts here and then your order book. You can also put there and then you go down to the settings. Um, you can lock it with a passcode. Um, you can connect with Blockfolio on their social media, um, different platforms that they are on. And you can set a few different things in here. But the main thing is it just looks smoother. It feels smoother. It, it doesn't seem as clunky as the old version of Blockfolio um, seemed. And overall, you know, I use Blockfolio a lot. I think it's, you know, probably the place where um, I frequent the most to look at my portfolio. I also use Monarch wallet. I'm getting a little more into Monarch. I really like it too. It's got a similar setup as well, but a uh, really big shout out to Blockfolio for letting me be a tester on this to be able to check out the beta version. It's pretty exciting, pretty fun. So, uh, you guys look out for the new version. I'm not sure when it's going to be out, but you know, basically you're just going to have to download the new version or I'm not sure if it'll auto update. But when it does, this is what you can expect to see. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. That's all I got tonight. Until next time, BitBoy out.